Duke Bodies production, okay? Right. Coming up today, this is a special occasion. And what's your name again? My name is Prince to Four. Prince to Four. Yes. So what do you do in this church? Uh, and then a song minister too. Wonderful. I learned um, you are the you you are the first person, you are the first person who won was the name again? Yeah, that was a long time ago. That yeah. was the name of, of that of that mentor, mentor of Ghana. And his church is privileged to have you here. Give things that God gave you to, I mean, to do with the worthy stuff out there. But I can see that you are still low level and you are using the, your God given talent to worship Him. So, what is this kitchen about? It's all about uh, thanksgiving and praising God for what He's done for us from January to till now. So, basically, what we are doing is uh, giving Him all the praise and adoration. For what he's done for us that is all about total experience fantastic so how is it going to be like um what would be the expectation the expectation is something new normally we used to invite other artists to come in and help but here is the case now our papa of the house reverend kojo Bwatin Bempa. i thank him so much he's trying to you know boost the talent that we have in the house so now we're going to have our sisters of grace and then the day and Kale, myself prince and then pastor prince worship who is the three of us are, the, the the four of us are going to be on bill so definitely it's gift from the house awesome awesome so this is well known by everybody in the country yeah you've, you've we've publicized been, it yeah we've been doing this for years now so uh we're expecting a whole lot of people around. You're going to minister in music, music, only music? Yeah, that's what I do. Wonderful. I want to hear, give us some nice song of yours. You have some short interview. <laughs> All right. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changes not, thy compassions they fail not, as thou hast been and forever will be. Thank so you. great, <laughs> great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning. Oh, oh, oh. Then wow. you fail. Hey, 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 I see. I think what you have you on So it. fantastic. How's it gonna be? Tell me. I want, I, I want, I want the people who don't know about this to know much about this. But a year by this time, maybe God has expanded this place, or and then the, the, the capacity will be highly voluminous. Tell me something about. It. Well, one thing I, I want people to know that is that if at this stage we're able to do massive things like this. Then when it, there's an expansion, then probably it's gonna be. Uh, I can't. Words cannot explain. Boom, boom is the yeah. word. Boom is okay, the Prince. Word. To follow, Pastor Prince, tell us something small about this mission. What prompted it, and why are you so excited to do this for God? All right, good people. It's it's nice coming away. Uh, this is total experience. I'm the pastor in charge of the music ministry of Holy Hill. 
and also the first director for the choir. Prince who just spoke is my assistant music director and we have other directors. We thank God for Total Experience. Total Experience actually uh, was initiated by our, our father, the bishop, Reverend Kojubati Bempa, who, who by revelation came up with such an awesome experience and we've been having it since five years now. This year is our fifth year. And anytime we say five in, in, in biblical terms, Five is a number of grace, and this year too, our, our theme was exceptional grace. So we know that it is timely, yeah. And today is the day that we are going to experience the awesome power of God in a very special way, like never before. Uh, in total experience, over the years, we've been experiencing, you know, massive, you know, uh, power, part, you know, dimension of, of God's power being released in, in the atmosphere. And we know this year too is going to be exceptional. Wonderful. It's going to be powerful. You know, and total experience is characterized by the by, by the move of the Holy Ghost and by the by, 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 by the by the by the uh, miracles, you know, signs and wonders. As we come together. So, I'm, so as I'm talking to you right now, I'm receiving my miracles. It, it has hey, I'm already. receiving yeah, it. it has Hallelujah. Already. Yeah. And it also it's a way where as Holy Hill members we crown the year you know we, we, we believe that Bible said he shall satisfy us uh, you know he shall satisfy us and crown us you know with, with good things and we know as the year is getting closer there's a time that we have to spend you know also to bless God so actually this month is a month of praise and we are crowning everything with total experience whereby we are going to praise God in the grand style so we are inviting each and everyone, children, adults, the youth, all over. People should come from the south, north, east, and west, far and near, just to come and join us to give God's praise to Him. And we believe that as we praise God, Bible says, that as the people praise God, the earth will yet increase. And tonight we are expecting increase in every area of our lives. Awesome, awesome, Him. awesome, Pastor yeah. Prince. I want you to bless us with one song, uh, Hallelujah. Before you go, oh. Uh, on, uh, actually, uh, this this year's total experience, our theme is uh, "You Alone Deserve It," and "You Alone Deserve It" came from the song that the choir we put together. So I want to give you that wonderful piece shortly. Oh, Something know. simple, one okay. bar will be okay. 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 All right. You alone deserve it. You alone deserve it. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah, the prince of peace. You alone deserve it. Oh, you alone deserve it. Oh, here I am. I lift my hands to worship you. You alone deserve it. You alone deserve it. Hallelujah. Oh, man, great, great. This Pastor Prince, this is a man. Yeah. yeah? If you want to hear some nice melodies and a holy hell chapel. Yeah? This is Pastor Prince. What, what, do you do, what, do you do, what do you do in general? I'm a musician, one of the musicians. And a musician, I'm a what? A musician, pianist. Okay? Yes, I'm a bassist. Bassist? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, the ex what, what will be the expectation? We are expecting great things. We are expecting signs and wonders. We are expecting miracles. Because the Bible says that God inhabits the praise of His people. And when we lift our hands and we worship God and we praise God, God comes into us. Our Papa, our Papa taught us. You mean he Raman, made a uh, Bishop, Kojo, Owusu, Bempa? Yes, our right, Bishop. Okay. Our Papa, Reverend Kuju Bwati Bempa, made a very profound statement the last time. He said, look, you can pray a mess. Hallelujah. So I believe that we are gathered not just to make show, not just for the fun of it, not just a musical concert, but I believe that it's an atmosphere where we are going to have fun in the presence of God. We are going to play before God. And I believe that signs and wonders is our portion you know the last year was a wonderful experience you know because we had signs and wonders we have we had deliverances we had the power of god so mighty in the place 
and there was so much there was so much signs and wonders there were so much miracles and people left relieved and their burdens were taken off so i believe that this time it's a new level god is bringing another level all together we are expecting that we are going to worship god and receive what he has for us and i believe that as we enter into the new year god is going to see us through because we'll be well equipped and we will be able to face the challenges of the new year awesome awesome nice uh, talking to you what's your name again eric eric kwashi kwashi thank you very much for your thank time you. i mean the word is very nice what is this about it's all about expressing our love and gratitude to god because if we consider what the lord has done for us the whole of this year uh, we have a reason to bless his name that is something we do every year and this time we are doing it again we want to express our gratitude and our thanks to god for being good to us for showing us his mercy and for blessing us in fact this year the testimonies that we have received in this church is so much so you, you received you also received a testimony i have can you share a little, a little bit of your testimony god has given me a new job hallelujah he has given me a baby that is fantastic and I, my colleagues also in the church have also experienced their own level of blessing. And it is the doing of the Lord. That's why we want to take this as an opportunity to bless His name. So why, 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 why this special time of the year for this very project? All right. Uh, this special time because it is a season that we bring to remembrance the birth of Christ. When Jesus was born, angels came to announce that there is good news. What is that good news? That a Savior has been born for the world. And for us, it is a time that we also have to appreciate God's love that he has shown to us by giving us Christ. That's why we have chosen to do this at this special time. Oh, so what do you do mainly? Are you a worshiper, an instrumentalist, or musician? I'm what? an instrumentalist. I play the drums. I'm also a leader of the prayer team. And I do a host of other things. Tell me something small in a summary about what is going to happen over here. Tonight, I'm expecting that God can be moved so much that anyone that comes here shall experience the power of God. As Elisha ministered under the anointing of the minstrels, so the man of God is going to also minister here tonight under the anointing of those that are going to minister in songs and in worship. I believe so much that is going to happen. Awesome. Nice having a chat with you. My name is Duke Vardis from Duke Vardis Production. Alex, yeah? yeah? What do you do in the church? I'm a lady pastor here and I'm part of the treasury and I'm past, part of the pastorate board and also a board member. Fantastic. So why this special day? Yeah, we believe that for the whole year, God has been very good to the church, to individuals. If you speak to individuals, you hear the wonderful testimonies that goes on. So, every did day. you receive testimony yourself? Oh yes, my. Can you give me a chip <laughs> of it? They just have, a slap. I have a lot, but I'll give you a very simple one. Yeah, give me a testimony that um, God did. My husband and myself, we decided that he wanted to change his job for a better one and to the glory of God. Quickly, by God's grace, a good one was opened, and so we thank God for that. I have a mega one that I may share. Maybe on the 31st of December. Awesome. Tell me, how is it going to be tonight? Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's a time of thanking God. It's a time of appreciating for all His goodness. So, together, our pastor was saying, it's not an entertainment, but it's a moment of appreciating God throughout the whole year for what He has done for But, but you are not a church. worshiper, isn't it? I'm not a worshiper, but you don't need to be a worshiper to appreciate God. You don't need to be a singer or a musician. Part of the, the organizers I'm as well. Part, yeah, I'm part of But do you everything. think it's going to be a successful event? It's going to be very successful. Apart from the arrangements that we've made, we also believe in the Holy Spirit, who is also helping us. Our choir, they are massively prepared. Everyone is everything is intact, ushers are ready, everything is intact. We send bills round to invite people, so we think that is going to so be so. Do you think you have the capacity oh, to yes. uh, accommodate everybody? Oh, no. yes, uh, at least for all the other spaces and the kind of chairs we are bringing in more chairs for other people that we have invited. So I think that we can take quite a number of people that would be okay. And trust me, it's going to be very powerful. Fantastic, fantastic. Put things on the ground well the, I mean, in terms of foundation which is good enough for this project 
Everything has been done very well. Um, this is our second year, so obviously we've learned from the first year, and there's only just going to be improvements. Awesome. Fantastic. So why this special day? What have you chosen this Christmas, December? You have, I mean, I mean, the, I mean, the month of the year. Well, December is a holy hill chapel month of praise. So this is our event to crown everything off, to show God how much we love Him and how thankful we are for everything that He has done for us. What What, what did He do for you? For me, this year He's done a lot. Um, I've sowed a few seeds and I've reaped some blessings from it. I mean, one was I sowed a seed um, of uh, 500 cities. I got 5,000 CDs. From that too, I then sold another 1,000 CDs and then I got a car from that. That's one. Um, I gave my testimony this morning that I was filling out a visa form for somebody and I made a lot of mistakes. Um, and I just prayed that God would blind the eyes of the visa people. So much that the person has now got their visa. Wonderful. Um, and so many other... So many testimonies. So, so many testimonies. Oh, awesome. Just said something to Ginger me to go home, pick my suit. And come here. You don't even need to go home and pick your suit. How you are is fine. Um, it's going to be a night of praise, worship, adoration, glorifying God, giving Him all the glory, giving Him so much because He has given us so much. We are just giving God a fraction of what we, He has given to us. So uh, tell me about We've got Dede and Kali, we've got um, Sisters of Grace, we've got Holy Hill Chapel Choir, we've even got the Bishop himself. I don't know whether he'll be hitting on a number, but there you go, you never know. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, in terms, I'm so worried about capacity because this church is it's not a small church, it's going somewhere. No, so, it's going somewhere, but we don't need, it's not about capacity. Yeah, the capacity is a lot of people may be coming. So, what, what have you put in place? A lot of people will be coming, and there will be no room for standing, no room for sitting. Everybody will be praising God, dancing around. So, we have seats, we have seats. majority of seats. Many, we've got enough um, total experiences, uh, an experience for everyone that has come. Everyone that is coming is, should get ready, should ginger themselves ready to receive from God. Because the Bible says when you pray, God sends his angels. But when you praise, God himself will come down. So get ready for healings, get ready for miracles, get ready for blessings, get ready for somebody to call you on the phone and tell you that everything is ready. I'm shipping you to this place. Everything is ready. You've got this job. Come Hallelujah. And a letter. So just get ready for the miracles and the testimonies because it's going to be too awesome. So I have to tie my knot to this church, isn't it? That's right. So that I can also receive yes. some kind of miracles coming to me. Yes. Now I speak to you again. What's your name again? Amma. Amma is not a name. Amma what? Amma Anna Bempong. Amma Anna Bempong. Fantastic. This is the day the Lord has made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is a special occasion. We from Duke Virus Media here, we are privileged to meet Reverend Kojo Bempa, a wonderful man of God. I've known Reverend Bempa from the time of University of Science and Technology. We've been good friends. We've been very, we've been very good friends. And this man is not doing this because of money. Because at a time that you know we were hungry, eating Gary and Shuto, this man would spend his last money for us to go to the villages, you know, to minister the word of God. And uh, it's so wonderful that after going all, all around the world, I am back to the country here. I'm back to the country here. And uh, so wonderfully, I've come across Reverend Kojo Bempa. And this is his church. He's the senior pastor of this church. And the senior pastor of this church is more, is more qualified to be bishop more than the titles people used to give. Okay? So we, at that time, we used to call him Bishop. And forever that name Bishop will remain. Because God has equipped him and has given him the tool to go out the world to what build churches and to build the kingdom, the kingdom, the kingdom, the kingdom foundation for people like us to be able to what? Flow in, 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 in the presence of God. As you can as you can see, or you head out there. Most of the church members attest to the fact that there is what a, what a, a pool of miracles. So the church members are swimming in this pool of miracle. And this man, you see him simple sitting over there, is fully packed with the anointing. Reverend Ozubin, but nice to meet you once again. What is this project about today that we, we are about to encounter? <laughs> you know, every December, we, we need to actually sit down and count our blessings. 
Many people, as they serve God, they only focus on what God has not done, forgetting that He has done a lot. So, we want to spend money, spend time, and then just come and say, Father, we thank you. Uh, Jesus talked about 10 lepers, but when they came, only one person came back to say thank you. And then he asked a very powerful question. He said, where are the nine? It means that God is Jesus prayed for people. Many people, when they need something, they become God conscious. When they get it, they forget. And the Bible said that there were 10 lepers. And he said, prayed for them. And the Bible said, one of them came back. He was not even a Jew to say thank you. And people thought, oh, maybe Jesus, he asked the guy a question. Were you not 10 people that are here? Where are the nine? That, that thing set me thinking. Knowing that God is expecting everyone to acknowledge any little favor that God has done in his life. And so we have this total experience where it's not an entertainment program. It's, it's, it's a program where we specially come to say, Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. So we, we put a lot of money inside to create a certain kind of awareness. Awesome. Those who serve idols, when they are going back to say thank you, it costs them something. But Christians, we are serving a God big God and an idol. Yes. But most Christians are on grief. Mm. One of my ladies sent me a message about, it looked as if it was a story, but the truth in it cannot be contested. He said that somebody went to heaven and they saw a lot of rooms. And in most of the rooms, letters were being sorted out. You enter one room, so many letters. It just are working fast, 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 fast. So they move from one room to another room. This one is where people are looking for miracle babies. The letters are being sorted and being stamped. Another place, people are looking for jobs. And then he said every room was busy except only one room. The letters were few. And the angel there was not as busy as those in the other room. So he, he, he was curious. He said, ah, why is this angel not so active? And this room is not... I'm Duke Vardis from Duke Vardis Media. I'm here to do a short documentary. Uh, at the moment, everyone is talking about the City of London Business College. Why City of London Business College? Why? Because City of London Business College is affiliated to the two top and conglomerate universities in the United States of America, United Kingdom, Australia, and everywhere in the world at the moment. Now, we want to know much about City of London Business College. Why? Is Everybody going there. If you want to know much about it, join me now as I have a dialogue one to one with the principal of the City of London Business College. Um, there's, a, there's an opportunity for us to you know, help you to let us go on. Um, I, I'm, I'm so happy to meet uh, Duke Maris, who has come to give the college uh, a lift up to help us, to bring us to the rest of the world, so that they know we exist. City of London Business College was started in the UK by myself as a proprietor. In 1990, and then I ran the school there for 18 years. And then I decided as a Ghanaian to come to Ghana and open a branch. 